Well, we got options today. We could work inside the shop. However, now that I think about it, that's a bad idea because it's supposed to rain for like a week. So we're going to work outside today, get some stuff done. <sighs> One of these days, I'll get back to them cabinets. Sucks I got sick and put that shit off to the side. What do we need in here? Let's get the bye-bye side. That's what the kids call it, the bye-bye side. And we'll throw... What do we got here? Barely? Barely? Let's see here. Nothing. Half a gallon worth? Hmm. We got oil somewhere here. No, nope, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to put these over here, though, so they don't spill. Probably get spilled anyway, though. So, yep. As I'm tinkering, I'm making up my mind. Ooh, I got to run some power. I got to run some power over there one of these days. I know I got a big spool of wire somewhere here. Underground UF. Ah. <sighs> Two things I must do this summer. <laughs> I have to get this piece of shit out of here, lower the cab back down, which is gonna be simple. I just, you know what? I just stopped completely because it was such a stupid fucking thing I did. I did this fiberglass and forgot to put the hardener in there. I mean, it doesn't get no dumber than that. But I made a concoction and put it over it and it seemed to harden it up, but. So I gotta sand this down everywhere I put epoxy, or I mean not epoxy, but fiberglass. And then I'm just gonna put steel plates on here because then it'll never happen again. I'll do a steel plate that kind of goes wink, wink, psh, 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 and bolts up. Same thing on this side, same thing in the two fronts. And then I'll have to use that thickness of steel for little backers. You can see this is all convex because of the weight distribution on there, you know? People have been running this sucker hard. Where steel is gonna flatten that out, it'll suck it down and it'll never move. Then we can put it back on here. The problem is, I'm guessing there's some issues going on in here. The motor, I think the issue with that is just this was, um, the terrible idling was, was up here. Uh, just dirty intake and stuff. However, something going on in the tranny. I'm not sure what, but it's a whoo noise. And I'm thinking, I I got zero experience with motors. Well, not zero, but automatic transmissions, taking them apart, never done one. A lot of manuals, but not automatics. So I'm thinking there's got to be some sort of torque converter issue of some sort or pilot bearing something going on with that so do i pull it off i gotta sell something that's what i gotta do then i got the money to have options so it sits now oh yeah let's take this vest gold we'll fill up our oil jug here we'll throw some gas on the bye-bye side as my kids call it the bye-bye let's go for a bye-bye side ride that way we can fill up our, let's put it over here in case we spill everywhere. We can fill up our two cycle oil. Sorry, I'm doing a terrible job this morning. Who knows where full line is on these? Oh, way down there, so we'll have to leave some in there. Um... Yeah, I don't know, man. This is what happens when you just make it up as you go, you know? We got no cap for this. Fuck. Shut these lights off. We're going to take... The side-by-side -side has all my tools in it from running back and forth to the beach working on the staircase, so... And it's going to stay that way until I'm done with the staircase. See, that's what I'm going to use for a 
here. Uh, eighth inch G sixteenth. I don't know what it is. So lights. Okay, I'll meet Before you. Before I get started here, I gotta clean this out. I gotta get rid of all this shit in my way and scoop out this sawdust so we can have a fresh slate. I gotta move them boards there. And then I gotta move those boards over there because they've been in my way too long. And then I wanna cut a six by six or probably just a, yeah, I'll cut something like that exactly. So we can frame out a door right here because I'm sick of having to go around when I'm going back and forth through there. Um, we're gonna do something similar on that side. It's gonna be a door like that. I got a roll up door over there we'll probably put on there um when i was doing all the demo work in my life i wished i would have kept a lot more stuff but when i lost my house and i say lost i gave it up i could have bought it from myself i guess to so to say <clears throat> buy out the equity that they said the dumb bitch had in it fucking had nothing into anything um I wish I would have kept a lot more stuff, but I, in my other house, I had stockpiles of shit and I couldn't take it all. Fuck, I got kicked out of there and locked out of there and then even got handcuffed for going back to get my tools for a job. Two-tier system fucking bullshit. Ooh, I see a nice tree. See them trees right there? That one and that one. Ooh, there's a lot of lumber right there. Hmm. Hmm. One of these days, we're going to take this clump of shit down. It's a nice little thing, but it kind of congests everything right there. So, we're going to end up taking this down and then making some boards out of that guy. I don't like having trees close to my building because... Just because. And I undermined that whole root ball there. So, really, it would fall that way if it's going to fall. But... You hear them bugs? That's what's in these logs. Let's see if they can hear me. Lay down in there. In that hole right there. Look at the wood chips. From under the bark. So that's why we gotta get them cut up right away and not leave them on the ground. Cause them beetles come, the larva just tears through that stuff. So let me get her whipped into shape. And actually I think uh, what I'm gonna do is I had some uh, triangle braces I got from my last employee there. I think we're going to mount them on this back wall so we got some places to set wood on the back side of here so it's up and off the ground and up there. And then eventually I got to figure out what the hell I'm going to do here. The troubles are real. Problem is with snow load, you if you go over six inches long on there without having anything on there, even six inches, it's gonna buckle if snow migrates. This thing's built sturdy enough that I don't care about snow load and if it ever does become an issue, I can just scrape it off, but I think we're well above efficiencies there. Um, so uh, let's get them on. And then we'll go from hey there. Guys, we're gonna do over to saw talk. I put our uh, 38 and a half inch wide rough opening in for a door over there. We're gonna cut that out in one second once I sharpen this chainsaw. We're gonna do the first sharpening of the new 24 inch uh, saw here. New 24 inch blade. So as I was doing this, I was just reminiscing of going through court and uh, seeing my ex-father-in-law up on the stand. The only one that ever went up on the stand. And I regret not taking my chance to question him up on that stand. I was just too emotional and I had fired two lawyers already. 
and they both screwed me so bad that I, there was no going back so it was kind of pointless so i felt at the time but these fucking liberals had their minds made up anyway he just helped what keeps going through my mind is he is a disgrace to his own race being the male race and how things are messed up when it comes to divorce and so uneven so thanks for that Ken Zoig um, other than that you know the question I would have asked is is you know there's a couple of them but the biggest thing was this fucking little bitch made it out to seem like her if it wasn't for her and her dad nothing would have been possible i know that's what she did because that's just who she is you know and i pretty much lost over 75 percent of a 10-year fucking full-on out war on my past in creating and obtaining what i lost so after that, I kind of just shut down. The only reason I didn't go full fucking metal jacket is because I had a son. And then of course I had Judy after that because I needed him to have a sibling at least. That was my main concern for that. I hit a nail with this the other day on accident. Good like dummy. So I barely nicked it though, so it's not too bad working on that freaking chicken coop Oops. see these are a little shiny i haven't even got to them yet the next filing i'll i'll take down these rakers but for now we're just gonna put the edge back on it because the only reason it's dulled is because i hit that screw so yeah man i mean just goes to show you love does crazy things to people you know i know that he was just there for his daughter you know which is understandable but to completely screw over someone that supposedly you loved as well and then not, to not take into consideration that this liberal bitch is getting over on the system by being a woman that shit has to stop man what college fucking girl comes out of college with with uh two homes and without rich parents and without having won the lottery and all this shit at 20 something years old what 24 years old with everything paid for except for like sixty thousand dollars on a mortgage for a house that was completely remodeled completely and then she had the audacity to say it was a short sale bitch you don't even know what that means really and for two it was bought in 2009, 2010. Everything was low. The house had fucking two foot of water in the basement. Yeah, your dad helped a lot. You know, you got a mortgage to do a lot of the work, but 99% of it was done by me and your father. And that's why I didn't contest that house, even though I had over, man, to redo that house like it was, it would have been $200,000 later easy i didn't contest none of it because i thought i was going to get my house that i built with my own hands you know that was what we said that's why i built that's why i bought that land when we went to go live in an rv for two years while she finished school you know if something went sour what the fuck would i have got well my land because that's what we did i bought the land before we went rented the house out to my family which paid fucking the bills for a couple months but then i paid the mortgage and shit i paid every fucking thing for two years i mean it just plus a rent down there and shit i didn't get nothing nothing in return did i get except for my son man i guess i'm grateful for that but it's hard to let that shit go that's where a lot of my songs and shit, the sorrow comes from that shit, you know? Mostly because I'm sorrow that I didn't have a chance to murder everybody. 
Because I think sometimes, you know, I've been to prison. It ain't that bad for me. Yeah, I'd never go back, but if I did get caught, I could do it again. Um, not saying I will, because I got kids, but you never know. You never fucking know these days. The way these fucking liberals keep getting away with shit. Well, fucking Bill Clinton. That motherfucker paid way more for his fucking slutty activities than Donald Trump. I just don't get this fucking country, man, and these people. How the fuck are you going to sit here and deny your own people justice these cops are fucking out of hand it's a big gang gangland usa if you're not in the right gang man and that's how it is all over the world of course but man, this is really up. i'm not gonna take it all the way back that's not necessary but you know, gangland usa if you're not in the right gang one of the most memorable moments in prison for me is going on the sec top tier and telling all the fucking DGs and BGs and elemental Ps, I got an open doors policy, motherfuckers. Come on in at will. And only one did. And he ended up on his back. He got me two times. I was laying down. I heard the door click. And I got up and grabbed the... I was on the lower bunk. I grabbed the lower bunk bar. And I flopped that fucker down on the ground. It just happened so quick. And then my celly was big too. And then he was mad because his radio got broke. So I thought I was going to have to fight him too. <laughs> I don't know. And then he tell. He told the fucking big dumb fucking gang member. Fucking told and shit. Because I was, had a little hustle going on in there. He told on that. and Like what dude? You were the cause of the whole motherfucking thing, big tough guy. Because your fucking gang members were saying you're a pussy because it was all because of you. Go get that little white boy, you pussy. And you fucking had to. And then you really... <laughs> you got flopped on your back. and But anyways. Thanks for that one there, Calvin Crawford. You fuck. But anyways. Yeah. That dude ended up giving me a black eye on a basketball court by passing me a basketball afterwards. <laughs> but you know, it just goes to show. You fucking throw these things and then you shake hands afterwards. But it doesn't excuse the fact that he's a rat. But when you're in prison, you can't get away from the fucking guy next to you. You're stuck in there together. <sighs> so, yeah. I don't know. Just something that crosses my mind that I thought I'd share. Get it out of my chest so it's not built up forever. And... I don't give a fuck when it comes down to it. I can get rid of all this shit and be just fine. No, I don't give a fuck. That's what it boils down to. So I finally got the the family over here yesterday. And she wanted that fucking thing. So she got it. A hoop fucking hoop house. We got some shit planted. I gotta get rid of this because that was a pain in the ass working around all that. I had some tarp, some rubber roof that I took off a job a long time ago put that down got we got some stuff planted the cutworms are destroying the inside of my freaking greenhouse for a second year in a row the little bastards they say to come out at night and pick them all off there but i still gotta try that once but we'll see all right i'm gonna set you back up here this thing is a pain in the ass so yeah the moral of that story that i was just talking about is don't get married because you're going to get fucked if you're male regardless they don't care and i was an ex-felon at that so i was really looked down upon you're uh, you're a piece of shit we know she's telling the truth because she's part of us social worker blah 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 yeah, i didn't have a chance but but then to have him a, a fellow tradesman help fuck you uh, terrible 
and that's just a minimal of it but let me cut this out and then we're gonna cut some more lumber for the posts on that deck that i'm doing down to the beach deck stairs whatever you want to call it menagerie and that will be about my day i'd like to start doing some more of this exterior on here but oh that's what i should have done well i guess it don't matter either way i was gonna say i should have made that an extra two inches wider so i could have trimmed it out with roughs on but if i'm putting a door frame in there it's gonna get trimmed out anyway so yeah scratch that hold on so this is a 24 inch bar and i seen a 28 inch the other day and i was like damn i sure would love to have that instead but <laughs> Because I did this first. <laughs> now I got somewhere to set miscellaneous stuff. <coughs> set these up. So be it. That'd be a nice little storage area. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this back side of here or not, but look at that wasted metal. I might just come up off of here, run something down, and then just see how it pans out for the winter. Then at least I got some dry storage under here, you know? It's a shame to waste it. This is messed up because I stepped off of there and landed on my feet, luckily. Look at this little guy. Little freaking wolf spider or something. All right, let's find something else to do here. I gotta cut that. I think we're gonna use that log there. That's a white pine to make our six by six. I don't know, it might be next week. I gotta do a bid on a job too with the skid steer, replacing lateral sewer line out at the base. So maybe I'll bring his along for that. If I do it, I don't know. I'll bid it anyway. The last one I did out there, was for a different company and uh, prices were double what I did the previous years. I've done a lot of them out there, but good old Joe Biden and the Democratic fucking liberal cocksuckers are making things almost impossible unless you want to spend tons of money. But people got the money in some cases, but that's not the point, man. Our country is, is way richer than they put out to be. Oh, here's another thing I've been thinking of. They keep telling us about this debt, and I understand treasury bonds are made and sold to China and this and that, to our adversaries, supposed adversaries. <sighs> I'm sick and tired of hearing about our deficit. Tell us how much people owe us. I want to know that fucking number. I'm sick and tired of hearing about how much we owe. And it's not even we. It's you motherfuckers that don't know how to fucking balance shit. And create jobs. And all these politicians that are making all this fucking money for God knows why. It don't make no sense and we're fucking tired of it. So whoever hears this that's in a position to give a fuck besides we the fucking people and I'm going to get shirts made soon. We the motherfucking people because that's what it is. 
one of these days we're going to get our heads out of our asses so to say and uh and form an alliance because right now we're paying people and money is the driver to a lie against ourselves if that makes any sense because there's a pyramid of we the people pay these people which pay these people which pay these people pay these people to pay these people and that's our country head the president supposedly but it's not one person it's a conglomerate of people the fucking triangle is upside down guys I just we gotta flip it over even if it was like a diamond I don't fuck I don't know I'm getting deep with that my brains ain't there right now but we gotta change it. It's gotta it's gotta change. We can't go on like this. We can't go on like this. Giving a fuck about somewhere else that we're never gonna see, you know? The shit is so deep and stupid. And I lost one of these guys on the ground right here, so I'm gonna have to go get my big magnet and shapes it through here. Alright, let's cut this log up first here.